Hello everyone, welcome to today's numeracy lesson with Mrs. Buddha. Today's learning target is I can multiply two digits by one digit numbers with no exchange. That means we won't be crossing any tens today. So in today's lesson you are going to be able to recall your multiplication facts. Use base 10 to multiply a two digit number by a one digit number and also use partitioning to calculate multiplications. The resources you will need today are pencil and paper from your home learning packs. Today I shall start off by playing a quick game of quick flash multiplication. Remember you can find this game on the RM Unified platform where there are lots of activities in which you can take part. Are you ready to now play Quick Flash 2 Multiplication with Mrs. Budden? Remember, as the sentences flash up, you can call out the answers too as I type them in. Shall we start to play? So today, I am going to choose the 8 times tables as we played with the 4 times tables the last lesson. So let's try the 8 times tables today and see how quick you are at calling out those answers. Are we ready? 8 times 1, 8. 8 times 3 is 24. 8 times 7 is 56. Are you calling them out as well? 8 times 2 is 16. 8 times 4 is 32. 8 times 0 is 0. 8 times 8 is 64. 8 times 9 is 72. Who's keeping up with me? 8 times 6 is 48. 8 times 5 is 40. 8 times 1 is 8. 8 times 3 is 24. 8 times 7 is 56. 8 times 2 is 16. Well done if you are keeping up. Super 32. 0. 64, 72, 48, 40, 8, 24, 56, 16, I hope we're all joining in, 32, Zero, sixty-four, seventy-two, forty-eight, forty. 48, Well done if you were able to join in and keep up with me today. That is absolutely fantastic practice for eight times tables. Today we are going to be multiplying larger numbers. So let's start with these questions. Pause the video here and have a go. Let's take a look to see how you got on. Number one, complete the calculations. Three times two equals six and three times 20 equals 60. Number two, complete the calculations. 1 times 4 equals 4, 2 times 4 equals 8, and 3 times 4 equals 12. Let's look at 1 times 40 is 40. Can we see the relationship? 1 times 4 is 4, 1 times 40 is 40. 2 times 4 is 8, 2 times 40 is, well done, 80. 3 times 4 is 12, therefore 3 times 40 is 120. As you can see, they are now multiples of 10. Let's look at number 3 to complete the number track. 30, 60, 90. Ooh, has anyone spotted a pattern? Can you see your three times tables? 3, 6, 9. So when it's 3 times, using our 3 times tables, we know the next number after 9 is 12. And as we're looking at multiples of 10, it's going to be 120, 150, 
Well done, 180, 210, 240, 270 and 300. So, well done. If you were able to spot that pot pattern, especially with the three times tables. Fantastic start. Let's take a look at how we could calculate 2 times 23. You could use base 10 to make 23. So we've got 2 blocks of 10 and 3 ones and another 2 lots of 10s and 3 ones. So all together we have 4 10s and we have 6 ones. So therefore 2 times 23 equals 46. We have 46 altogether. Can we see 10, 20, 30, 40 and the 6 ones make 46. You can also use the partitioning method to multiply 2 times 23. You can partition the 23 into 20 and 3. That way it will help you to multiply it a lot easier. So we know we multiply 2 times 20 and 2 times 3. 2 times 20 equals 40 and 2 times 3 equals 6. And when we add 40 and 6 together, we get an answer of 46. So the partitioning method is another method we could use. And this is the method we will focus on for today. Pause the video here to see if you can calculate 3 times 31. You can draw the base 10 if you like, or you could use partitioning to help you calculate the answer. Let's see how you got on. If you drew the base 10, you could have drawn 3, 31, 3 times. So you can see here we have 3 tens, add another 3 tens, add another 3 tens, that makes nine tens and three ones would give you an answer of 93. You could also, if you partitioned, partition the 31 into 30 and one. And three times three is nine. Therefore, three times 30 is 90. Remember the questions we did at the beginning? And three times one is three. And 90 add three makes 93. So there you go. Did you get that correct? Pause the video here to see if you can use the partitioning method to calculate the following four questions. 3 times 21, 4 times 22, 34 times 2 and 13 times 3. And we will look at the answers on the next few slides. Let's take a look at how you got on. So let's try 3 times 21. So we're going to partition 21 into 20 and 1. And we're going to write 3 times 20, which equals 60. Well done. And 3 times 1, which equals 3. So 60... At 3 equals 63. Who got that answer correct? Well done. Let's now move to 4 times 22. So again, we're going to partition 22 into 20 and 2. We're going to now multiply the 20 by 4. So 4 times 20. And remember, 4 times 2 is 8. And because we're multiplying by 10, it's therefore 80 and then 4 times 2 which equals 8 and we add them together the 80 add 8 equals 88 so therefore oh let's put the answers at the top so as we can see so 3 times 21 the answer was 63 and 4 times 22 the answer is 88 let's look at 34 multiplied by 2 so we take the 34 and we're going to partition it into 30 and 4. And first of all, we'll multiply the 30 by 2. So 2 times 30 equals 60 and 2 times 4. Oops, 2 times 4 equals 8. 
So we're now going to add 60 and the 8 together, and the answer is 68. So 34 times 2 equals 68. Now let's have a look at 13 multiplied by 3. 13, we're going to partition into 10 and 3. We now multiply them both by 3. 3 times 10 equals 30. And 3 times 3 equals 9. 30 add 9 equals 39. So 30 multiplied by 3 equals 39. How did you do with your partitioning method for multiplication today? Fantastic if you had a very good try. Here is a word problem. It asks you to arrange three of the digit cards into the calculation be below. There are four digit cards, two cards with three the three and two cards with the digit two. You need to choose three of those cards to put into the calculation below. What is the largest total you could make if you multiplied those three digits that you chose? And what is the smallest number you could make? Pause the video and see if you can have a go. Let's take a look at the calculations that we could make with those cards. We could use 3 times 32 and the answer would be 96. So we've used 3 twice and the 2. We could also write 3 times 23, just swap them around the digits and we have an answer of 69. 3 times 23 equals 69. We could use a 3 and two twos. 3 times 22 and the answer equals 66. We could write 2 times 32. So if you use the 2, a 3 and another 2 and the answer is 64. We could make 2 times 23, we've swapped them around again, and the numbers, the answer is 46. And we could write 2 times 33, and that equals 66. So, six calculations I've been able to come up with. How many were you able to come up with? And remember, once you found your digits, you could have used your partitioning, for example, 32, partition into 30, and partition to 2, and then multiply by 3. So 3 times 30 equals 90, and 3 times 2 equals 6, which gives us 96. So you can see there, Mrs. Budden has used her partitioning method when calculating the answers. What is the largest total you can make? Well, the largest total we can make is 96. What is the smallest total? Let's say it's 46. The smallest total was 46. How many different totals did we make? We've got 96 and 69. We've got 66, that's 3. 64, that's 4. 46, that's 5. However, there is another 66 there, so that's the same total. So 3 times 22 and 2 times 33 actually give us the same total. So really we have five totals all together, or five different totals. How did you get on with that word problem? For this problem, you can choose three digit cards of your own. So you can choose any three digit cards. However, when you complete the calculation, the answer must equal 84. So what three cards could you use? And is there more than one different way of making the calculation? Pause the video here and see if you can have a go. How did you get on with this problem? You could choose the digits 8, 4 and 1 to make the numbers 84 times 1, which would give you an answer of 84. Did anyone think of those digits? 8, 4 and 1. Well done if you did. 
You could also have chosen the digits 4 and 2 with another digit 2 to make 42 times 2, which also equals 84. And if you look to the side for the base 10, you can see there are two lots of 42. 42 add another 42, make 84 altogether. Did anyone choose those three digits? The 4, a 2 and another digit 2. Well done if you did. You could have also used the digits 2, 1 and 4 to make 21 times 4. And again, using the base 10, you can see we have 21 repeated 4 times. 1, 2, 3, 4. And the answer makes 84, as we still have 8 tens. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And we still have 4 ones. Has anyone noticed a pattern with the digits that I have chosen? We started with 84 multiplied by 1. Then we halved the 84, we halved the 80, we halved the 4 to make 42. But then we doubled the 1 to make 42 times 2. And then we halved it again. Half of 42 is 21. And this time we doubled the 2 to make 4. Isn't that clever? It is now your turn to use the partitioning method to calculate the questions on the following slide, just to give you a little bit more practice on how to use the partitioning method. Pause the video here to answer these 10 questions using the partitioning method as best as you can. Remember to partition the two digit number and multiply those by the single digit number. And we should look at the answers on the next few slides. Let's see how you got on with those questions using the partitioning method. 41 times 2. Let's try the partitioning method. 41 and we're going to partition it into 40 and 1 and we're going to multiply each of those by 2. So 2 times 40 equals 80 and 2 times 1 equals 2 and we add them together. 80 add 2 equals 82. So the answer was 82. So that was the method you should have used. 12 times 2 equals 24. Did we need to do the partitioning method for this one? Because actually we do know our 2 times tables, don't we? 2 times 32 for number 3, and the answer was 64. 83 times 1, and the answer is 83. And the last one in this section, 12 times 5. We do know our 5 times tables. However, if we did use the partitioning method, we should still achieve an answer of 60. So hopefully you have got the first 5 correct. So you are off to a good start. So well done. Let's now take a look at the answers for the second set of questions. 13 times 3. Let's start with the partitioning method for this one. So partition 13 into 10 and 3. And we multiply each number by 3. 3 times 10 equals 30. And 3 times 3 equals 9. And 30 add 9 equals 39. So 16 times 3 equals 39. 1 times 30 equals 30. 3 times 22, the answer was 66. 14 times 2, the answer was 28. And 44 times 2, the answer was 88. So well done if you managed to get most of these correct today. So fantastic. How did you all get on with today's learning target? So today, you have been able to recall your related multiplication facts when working out multiplications. You've been able to use base 10 to multiply a two digit by a one digit number and also use your partitioning skills 
to calculate multiplication too. So well done. Give yourselves a big tap on the back if you think you have done fantastically today. Remember, don't worry if you aren't sure because we will cover these once you are back in school. Don't forget to share your work with us in school by sending us a WhatsApp using the school mobile number, emailing to Pumas or posting it through the school letterbox. Looking forward to seeing you next lesson. Bye for now.